Sentient Color. Item Number, SCP-598. Object Class, Safe. Special Containment Procedures. SCP-598 is contained in a 3x3x3-meter room, which has been painted solidly with Burr brand pearly white paint. The floor is mirrored. Three bright lights are positioned on the ceiling in such a way so that all the room is lit. These lights are to remain lit for 24 hours every day, and are attached to a backup generator in case of power outage. The room will be examined for mold or stains daily, and these will be immediately removed if found. Two level 2 guards are to be stationed outside SCP-598's room at all time. Supervised contact with SCP-598 is unrestricted to all personnel with level 2 access. All are subject to searches before and after contact, and random psychoanalysis afterwards. Unless permission is received from a overseer, tools such as knives, scalpels, mirrors, paint peelers, or cameras are restricted. Description: SCP-598 is an intelligent shade of yellow covering the whole of the inside of its cell. Attempts to reproduce SCP-598 with paints, crayons, etc. have failed. Through experimentation, SCP-598's properties have been discovered not to be tint or shade dependent. Different shades of light, except for total darkness, will not affect the item's sentience, but are hue dependent. A colored filter placed over the item's light source will cancel the effect. SCP-598 can process audiovisual stimulus in its nearby surroundings, but cannot speak nor move autonomously, nor communicate using normal senses. SCP-598 is, however, telepathic, and capable of holding extended mental conversations, enjoying topics like music, art, and science. It displays a slight interest in the SCP Foundation, although it is likely this is because of its immediate surroundings, and not for malevolent reasons. SCP-598 is not a physical organism. It does not move, grow, eat, sleep, or excrete waste, so it is not technically alive. Any color-accurate copy of SCP-598, reproduced by any means including computer, video recording, or mirrors, will become SCP-598. An interesting phenomena occurs whenever any shortwave radio is within 4 meters of SCP-598. They will begin to pick up a previously out-of-range station, which will broadcast different noises. As of yet, the following have been recorded. Wolf-like howling, whale song, frogs croaking, punctuated by insect sounds, low humming of unknown origin, high-pitched chirping noises, revealed to be bat noises brought into human hearing frequencies. SCP-598 does not seem to know where these noises originate, yet enjoys a radio placed in the room and tuned to this frequency. The noises change at random, and go on for hours at a time. Addendum. It has been suggested by Dr. Blank that a sample of SCP-598 be introduced to SCP-085, pending approval by overseers and all involved parties.